Indianapolis Mayor Joe Hogsett tonight is laying out his plans for harassment training for all city county employees. This move comes after two women came forward accusing a former chief deputy mayor of sexual harassment. Our Logan Gay combed through the new executive order tonight and joins us to break it all down. Logan. In this executive order from the mayor, he says the city and Marion County have a zero tolerance policy for any form of sexual harassment. And I apologize. It's been one Profound. week since Lauren Roberts and Caroline Ellert watched as Mayor Joe Hawks had addressed the city county council there to lay out his 2025 budget proposal. But he also apologized to both women and the anonymous third woman who reported alleged abuse by Thomas Cook. His conduct was a betrayal of the trust placed in him as a public official, a betrayal of my trust, and most importantly, a violation of the city's responsibility to ensure safety and well-being for all employees. During that meeting, Hogs had announced changes to improve protections for employees. On Tuesday, he released this executive order that says now every city county employee will attend an annual interactive harassment awareness and prevention training program. It was developed by the Division of Human Resources and the Office of Corporation Counsel. The order also says the Office of Corporation will be in charge of keeping track of making sure everyone participates in the training. If an employee fails to complete the mandatory training, they could face discipline. Employees have until December 31st to complete this training. In a letter to employees on August 16th, Mayor Hoxett said the executive order will allow every single person who serves this community to know their rights, their protections, their reporting obligations, and what to do they find themselves on the receiving end of any unacceptable behavior. He also reminded employees of the anonymous online reporting form and plans to hire a national firm to update the entire employee handbook. Caroline Ellert and Lauren Roberts send this statement to the newsroom with their thoughts on this new executive order. It reads, we're glad to see movement on one of the steps outlined in our letter. We hope the new training is effective in giving employees a safe space to learn about their rights. In Indianapolis, Logan Gay, 13 News.